Then use your elemental sight to look for the eye. Ooh, so what did you see? Huh? Nothing. Oh, but Paimon was so excited. Uh, what's going on? Are you sure you did it right? This requires another method. Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Let me give it a try. And done. Wow! It's... it's a... The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The Eye of the First Field Tiller. All of the Ruin Guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. Is it another ancient term from Conria? As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this eye is placed in the hands of the defiled statue, and if the limbs of Osail, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god. And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Yes. Th then, what should we do with this eye? No. I'll guard it myself. Huh? You? Uh, Dane? Hmm. You won't go and do anything crazy with it, will you? You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, well, you know I don't trust them. Oh, <laughs> right. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. We can't have the church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, naturally I mean to completely destroy it. Uh, destroy it? That's a statue of the Seven! As well as being a really important cultural relic, they're actually divine too! <sighs> Well, good thing we didn't tell Barbara earlier. Otherwise, she'd be going completely bonkers right now. <laughs> Do the Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky, we will also run into that Abyss Herald. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. <laughs> Time to begin work? <laughs> so after all that running around, we end up right back here again. Look at us. We barely escaped this place last time, and now we're strolling right back in! Gee, surely we must be some of the bravest adventurers in all of Tavat! That are the stupidest. To get to...
behind schedule. Looks like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Oh, such a scary place. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald. It's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Danesliff, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... <clears throat> oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you! Before the abyss. Huh. Huh. Next on the agenda, access denied. We're way behind schedule. Taste blood. Let's dance. Decimate. Oh. Jumping down. Ah. Oh. Ah. Next on the. This is long overdue. Ah. I can fix this. Protect us. I 
felt his blood. Take me back. Oh. Go, Barbara, go! Let's dance. For Rex Marcus. Access denied. Ether. <gasps> Wait! She just blocked an attack against the Abyss Herald! Your sister? And the Abyss? Ether, why are you with Dane? Again. Uh, what's going on here? Dane knows her too? You shouldn't team up with this man. He is my enemy. But it must be said. <sighs> Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the Abyss. That man, Dainsliff, was the Twilight Sword, one of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. 
500 years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him to forever wander the wilderness, while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into monsters of the abyss. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh, and the whole thing about Dane being your enemy... Oh, Paimon's so confused. Home. Yes, of course. Home is wherever we are together. But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Listen to me, Aether. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. So we'll meet again. Huh? Though we need not rush, brother. I have more than enough time to wait for you. <laughs> we have always had enough time. to her. Still, we don't know for sure if she's the highest ranking leader in the organization. Also, your sister said that she wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Could it be that she wants to destroy the Seven and the Seven Nations? Next thing, turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. This story is just plain terrifying! And Dane is from Conria, too! He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago! But he didn't turn into a monster, and now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your sister said that Dane is her enemy, right? But if the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? Also, how come, after all this time we spent searching for your sister, it turns out she's on the side of the abyss? What's up with that? Yeah, you're right. Then we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. If your sister wants you to reach the end of your journey, well then, show her what you're made of. Come on, traveler. Let's go.
Dance. 